Make sure the sequence you want to export is selected in the active bin or that it is loaded into the timeline and the timeline or the record monitor is the active window. Then choose File Export to open the export dialog. You can choose a preset from the export setting menu. Most of these are pretty specific and list the kind of system the export is intended for, such as Avid Pro Tools, Avid DS, a Macintosh image or Windows image, etc. When you need to do a QuickTime movie export, which is pretty common, you can choose either Fast Export or Send to QuickTime Movie. Choose Fast Export QuickTime NTSC from the menu. To see what this preset is, or to modify and save your own presets, click the Options button. This setting is the fastest and most basic QuickTime export setting because of the same as source setting, which basically means you will get a QuickTime version of your sequence with no changes to frame rate, frame size, raster dimension, audio sample rate, bit depth, and so on. If you need to export the sequence so it looks as close as possible to your project format, choose Same as Source. Choose whether to export the entire sequence or check Use Marks and Use Enabled Tracks to export a selected range. Now choose whether you want to export video and audio, or video only, or audio only. Choosing Same as Source disables the custom settings in the video and audio format panes. So choose Native Dimensions in the Display Aspect Ratio pane, and then click Save to accept the settings.